happy Sunday morning. Last man standing at my job. Gotta get paid. So check it out. A couple of you really wanted to make the October lifted van meet. But different reasons why you guys couldn't make it. And you want to get out on a van adventure sooner than later. You don't want to wait until the next lifted van meet. And then a couple of you that I met last week at the October lifted van meet have a pretty open, pretty flexible work schedule so you could get out on a van adventure on fairly short notice. I have a van adventure for you guys. Potential van adventure on pretty short notice. I was invited to this right here. Element Society Joshua Tree Campout, October 27 to 29. My girlfriend already got the days off requested and approved. So let's take a look at the weather report the next 10 days. So it starts on the 27. This is a uh, Joshua Tree. So you can see the weather dropping 88, 83, 77, 75. 75 and 76 on the 27th and the 28th so i was invited by this guy right here element lifestyle so he said awesome video when is the next lifted van meet he left me a comment for this video i made right here talking about honda elements the reason i made a video about honda elements is because my friend gil he, um, he's an active lifestyle guy. He's into camping. So, of course, when someone's an active lifestyle person, I'm going to tell them, you need a van, man. And he told me, I actually really like Honda Elements. So I'm like, dude, Honda Elements are cool. I, I actually like watch videos sometimes. And I know Honda Element guys have meets. So I talked about it and showed, like, Honda Elements for sale, what they cost. And that's where... Um, element lifestyle here stopped by in my video he left me a comment so i subscribed back to him so check out his channel right here so i've been chit chatting with them when i see his meets they're rolling like 30 deep sometimes even more and sometimes they're on the road for like two weeks so it's really cool he's doing really good stuff for his um community you know it's a community you know I have my lifted van community, you know, friendships here starting. He has his, and even though we drive different vehicles, we're trying to accomplish the same thing, you know, get people out there on a adventure. So I, so he, he um, you know, I want, I invited him to this previous meet, but he had things going on. He invited me to this meet. I'm going to try to make it. We'll see, but um, we're, we're definitely going to like participate in each other's meets someday i want to support what he's doing and he's cool man he said let's collab one day and i like that because um yeah uh, toyota tacomas jeep wranglers are pretty cool but it's cool doing things a little different of course the lifted van thing is not very big and then the honda elements yeah like i said i've seen them roll like 30 deep sometimes more so they're getting big and that's what i'm trying to accomplish here get people into lifted vans getting their van builds out there so if you guys are itching to go off-roading this guy told me there's gonna be some off-roading so get in touch with me if you guys want to do this so here's another option so you saw the um weather report for joshua tree 75 and 76 gotta add here sam's club okay so if you guys don't want to do that my girlfriend really likes uh, Anza Borrego, Borrego Springs, so let's take a look at the weather. So like I said in my previous videos, unfortunately, 115 degree weather snuck up on us. So looking at the report, 96, 101, let's go down 10 or on the 26 or 27. See, there you go 82 83 now it's cooling off 83 degrees instead of like 105 to 110 it was uh, last week so i definitely want to do a lifted van meet at the same location we did last week but i'm going to wait till november of next year so we're going to get this sort of weather so it's definitely going to start cooling off 
on the 27 and then let's take a look at slab city same thing 110 to 120 degree weather snuck up on us so looking at the 10 day forecast 93 98 man it's already way cooler than last week it's like 100 it was like 110 120 but like let's go down to see 84 85 so the weather is cooling so brooke really wants to go back to joshua tree she really liked joshua tree a lot there's a weather 76 and then anza Brego, she said that's a cool like backup plan so anza Brego, fonts point 85 way cooler than last week so let me know guys i'm definitely gonna get out on the 27th like friday i requested friday and monday off so i could get another four days off so if you guys want to go on a short notice adventure let me know get in touch with me because i will get out even if it's just me and brooke but it would be cool if you guys could um join me because this is my last big road trip because from november 15 to december 25 i'm gonna be locked in on overtime so yeah they uh no days off requests during the holiday season and it's that time of year where i'm really trying to get the most overtime as possible it's my day off today but you know i'm always trying to pick up some extra money got to get more sick add-ons you know what i need the most i will talk about this later I need a really good compressor so I'm not lazy to air down my tires. I got to test out the rear locker a little bit. It's awesome. But at the end of the day, these vans are so heavy that you want to air down no matter what. Rear, even if you have a rear locker, even if you have four-wheel drive, you got to air down. These things are heavy. When I got this uh, weighed for the first time, when it had a, when it was a 15 passenger van, it weighed in at like 65 to 6,800 pounds, something like that. It might be even heavier now, who knows? I might have, I took out three of the bench seats, kept the last one in, but who knows? I might have added even more weight. So I gotta get this weighed, see, what, see how much it actually weighs. The, the Geo Tracker is a totally different beast. The Geo Tracker weighs 2,500 pounds. So that thing just floats on sand. So the rear locker is impressive. That's why I really want to get out again before the end of the year. I really want to do a rear locker review for you guys. I know you guys have been waiting for that. And I'm just itching for more off-roading. Didn't get to do much off-roading during the lifted van meet. So yeah, get in touch with me, guys. If I get like some interest in this, we'll take a vote. If you guys want to join the Element guys, um, like I said, they let the, they uh, told me that you guys are welcome to join. So that would be cool to see um, what other people are doing and support other people. You know, we may have different vehicles, but we have the same mission: get people out there having a good time. I've been watching his meets, and people are happy and really into their rides as much as we are. And if, you, if I get enough of you interested in this, like, you know, it's in a couple weeks, but if enough of you are interested in this and you don't want to join the element, guys, let's hit, let's hit Anza Borrego. Let's do some off-roading. That's what I really want to do. And that's why I asked them, are, are you guys going to do some off-roading? Because I'm, I'm like itching to go off-roading and camping. So, yeah, let me know. Get in touch with me. Automotivevlog at gmail.com. John drives anything on Instagram. And a couple of you have my number, so um, shoot me a text. Let's get out. 27 to 29th, I believe. Yeah, my girlfriend's flying in on Friday. I'm going to pick her up Friday night, and then we're going to head out. I don't know where we're headed out yet, but she doesn't have to fly back home until Monday. So, one more look. Yeah, October 27th, that's a Friday or Saturday, I believe. Let me look at the calendar here okay the 27 is friday night so we will be wherever we need to be on saturday so how about we stop by and hang out with these guys on saturday and figure it out if you guys want to go there or like i said maybe we should head back to uh fonts point and zabrago camp out there do some off-roading and then my girlfriend, she really liked the uh, the Palm Canyon Resort, so she wants to uh, camp out one day and go to a, a resort the next day. So, 
yeah, get in touch with me, guys. You guys are itching for another adventure. You guys really want to go off-roading? Let's do this. We were invited to hang out with the Honda Element guys for some off-roading. Now, like I said, I really want to support this guy. Even though I don't make it on this one, someday I'm going to support what he's doing because uh, I like what he's doing, man. I've been watching their videos, and uh, he's a good man doing good work. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. I got one day off, and I'm going to enjoy it.